well, it's about that time. It's uh, five o'clock, and I like to listen to some nice, relaxing jazz music. Have a glass of wine. You don't need a fancy wine glass. And I, I wonder if you'd like to join me. We just got some new inventory in. It was just delivered to the doorstep, and I'd like to open it with you. And why don't you tell me what you think? Tell me if they're good items. Tell me if they're not. Let's explore our inventory. I like to drink Burgundy wine from France. I find it has, it's both subtle and more complex. Here's our first item. I'm using a wine opener, believe it or not, to open it. I, I can't, I can't find my, my knife. It's frustrating. We, uh, remember, we are a green clothing company, sustainable. Every great garment has already been made decades ago. There's no need to purchase a new garment, which is environmentally unfriendly and also subjects many people around the world to sweatshop labor, so. We think it's a bit more ethical to wear clothing that's already been made. That's just our opinion. We don't mind if you disagree. Okay. Here is first item of the day. I think our I think our customers will like this one. This is a tweed jacket, and um, we've acquired it. It's from a very reputable tailor on Savile Row. Uh, this is from Huntsman Huntsman and Sons. A lot of people think these guys are the best. I I think everyone can just have their favorite and call the day. One of my favorites is a company here in America called, called Southwick. My favorite British made uh, Savile Row item is from Henry Pohl. It's a sports jacket. It's a thick tweed. So let me know if you think this is a nice item. Seems like it could be okay. Pretty soft shoulder. Ivy League look. Here is our next item. Oh, this is unusual. I don't, I don't know if our customers will like this. This is a, a rose pink corduroy, and it is a double breasted. I'm not sure why we've chose to add this to the inventory. I don't think our customers will like this one, but we can never bat 1,000%. Doesn't even say who's made this. This, this seems to be a, a totally mis total mystery. I don't know who made this. Maybe, maybe we can find out on the inside. Wow, what a surprise. It looks like this was made by Huntsman and Sons on Savile Row, and it's experimental. It was made in 1999, according to the uh, tagging on the inside of the pocket. Maybe I was right, maybe I was wrong. Could I share the label with you? Share the label with you. I just don't know. Certainly, no doubt interesting, but it's a rose pink corduroy double-breasted blazer. Oh, 
someone, someone who enjoys sartorial experiments would enjoy that chapter. I'm drinking wine out of a cup from my childhood. It's a 1982 Milwaukee Brewers cup, and it has Cecil Cooper and Gorman Thomas on it, their images. They were great baseball players. Cecil Cooper is, is likely the most underrated first baseman in history. I'm not quite sure why he's not in the Hall of Fame if you look at his numbers. Did you know the Milwaukee Brewers have never won a World Series? And they've only appeared in one World Series. In 1982. I was six years old. I was born in 1976. Nevertheless, did you know that the city of Milwaukee has claimed a World Series title? The Milwaukee Braves with Hank Aaron and Eddie Matthews and Warren Spahn on their team. Won a World Series, uh, I believe the year might have been 1956. I'm, I might be off by a couple of years. Well, you know, the city of Milwaukee has um, won World Series title and the Milwaukee Bucks have won an NBA championship in the early 70s. But if you think about it, the Green Bay Packers up in Green Bay, a couple hours north of Milwaukee, have won a lot of championships. So, you know, that's how these things go. The Green Bay Packers have won the most NFL championships of any team. It's very interesting since it's the smallest um, city to have an NFL franchise. This is a real traditional Ivy League stalwart. This is a sports jacket by Norman Hilton. Nothing wrong with this, nice and soft shouldered. I suppose this could be called a Prince of Wales check. I think customers who like a low key approach would enjoy that, not too much coloration. I think it would go pretty much damn near anything. So customers will really get a lot of versatility out of that. I think, uh, I think that's an easy one to wear. I found Norman Hilton to be of exceptional quality. I would encourage our customers to to uh, acquire Norman Hilton. This is an Intarsia sweater we are adding to our inventory by McGeorge. This is this is a cashmere. It has a beautiful hand to it. Soft as could be. I like to show the customers the tagging, but I'm not sure it, it's going to show up under this severe lighting. I think, I think it won't. But um, maybe I could share with you the beautiful Intarsia work here. It's an Argyle pattern. I like it, it feels great. Who doesn't like um, who doesn't like a nice cashmere V-neck uh, this time of year? It's um, it's a great item for any closet. You know, I enjoy wearing things like lamb's wool and Shetland sweaters. They have a nice texture to them. Of course, it's not as soft as luxurious as cashmere. Well, different horses for different courses. That's how I look at things. It's quite nice to have them all in your arsenal. Cashmere, 
lamb's wool, merino wool, Shetland. It's the fun part of running this business is there's so many choices. With our company, you don't have to limit yourself. If you don't have a large closet, who cares? Who cares? Just come to Mr. Sports Coats. We have a rental program. Did you know that? We sell items on Poshmark. Our rental program is called Rent the Row. As in Rent Savile Row. The prices are too high to pay. There's no reason to pay those prices. We have garments from every suit maker on the row. We're happy to rent them to you. We have a brick and mortar operation in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. It's where our headquarters are based. We rent a lot of garments to students and professors here. Pattern trousers have arrived. I enjoy pattern trousers personally because it's nice to wear one pattern and blazers and camel hair jackets. It's nice to wear uh, or sweaters. It's it's nice to wear a pattern trouser. They're they're quite effective on the golf course for you golfers because much like hunting on the golf course, you want to. You want the other golfers to see you so you don't get nailed in the head with a golf ball. You've heard golfers yelling four on the golf course. A lot of times it's because they don't see you if you're ahead of them and uh, you could sustain a severe injury. So if you're a golfer, I think you ought to, ought to be wearing some tartan trousers out there. Well, speak of the devil. More tartan trousers. You know, I don't think I mentioned that these trousers I've just shown you are manufactured by or were manufactured by Corbin. I really like this American company and the quality of their trousers. Really nice, rich shades in this one. A beautiful hand to that. That's a really nice wool. So relaxing to drink red wine while you while you work. That's why I like to open up my inventory. Additions around five o'clock. I hope you're having fun. Maybe not. Maybe this is too boring. It certainly could be. I'm happy to receive criticism. If you think this is very boring content, yeah, leave a comment. If you like this content, we're, we're happy to add new subscribers. Even if you have no interest in becoming a customer, that's okay. That's okay. Say la vie. Wow. Well, hang in there. Uh, I have a lot of we have a lot of items that arrived in one box. I'll go one by one if you don't mind. Huh. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? Oh, it's a tweed jacket. Again, it's a, it's a tartan, quite hefty. You know, one thing I like to add to our, our inventory are jackets from 
menswear stores of yesteryear. Every city used to have a great menswear store. No man left the house without a jacket. These treasures are, are out there. Well, you just have to hunt them down. I don't know, what, what would you prefer? Would you rather wear this or would you rather wear some characterless uh, jacket from J. Crew or, you know, whoever. They're all the same. What you have to understand is that all of these retailers of new items, they all get this, whether it's Brooks Brothers or J. Crew or Suit Supply, they're all getting this this crap from the same places. Philippines, Vietnam, Bangladesh, Jordan, China, of course. Well, if you want to go green, we're happy to, to rent or sell you some items. It's cheaper than the new clothing made in Mexico or China. It's a better quality. You know, I can't think of one reason to buy new clothing. If you can, please let me know. But it's why we started the business. We couldn't find any good new clothing, so we we started looking back through the decades, and we're glad we did. That's why we're here. This is a, a Paul Stewart tweed jacket. We're really stocked up on tweed this time of year. Yeah, you won't find much linen or cotton or seersucker in our inventory right now. We put that stuff away in storage. This is a nice soft shoulder. I think Paul Stewart through the years has really come through with quality, quality, quality. I can't think of anything bad to say about Paul Stewart. I'm just looking at the tag. This was made by the ACTWU Union. So look, that's that's good news. If you see the ACTWU tag, that's the sweet spot. I like amalgamated garment worker tags too. Those garments are a little older. Unites okay. That's a union. A little newer in the 2000s, but uh, I think ACTWU, A-C-T-W-U, is the sweet spot, personally. That, that's what I look for, that's, that's the value, that's the bang for the buck. It's just my opinion, it doesn't mean anything. I like wines from Burgundy. You may prefer wine from California or Argentina. Nobody's right, nobody's wrong. Well, wine and men's clothing, it's, uh, they're both really fun and enjoyable aspects of life. I think it might be a shame that more men don't enjoy their clothing. I feel bad for them. A lot of times they just don't have the education or knowledge. You don't need to be embarrassed if you don't know anything about clothing. I'm happy to share. It took me a long time to learn about clothing. Just ask and I'll be happy to share. This is a suit. This is a flannel suit. I would say it feels divine to the touch. Pleated trousers, cuffs, gray flannel. It's got a bit of a check, a bit of a tick. 
It's not a dog tooth, but it's got some personality. I, I, I really think this is a superior garment. I'm going to wear it tomorrow. I'm looking at the tag. It was made in Italy. It's 100% wool. I'd like to know the mill that this came from. This was hand tailored for Carol and Company. I'm from Beverly Hills in the Los Angeles area. Carol and Company recently went out of business, but it it was the best traditional menswear store in Los Angeles. It was located in Beverly Hills. It was just the best for traditional Ivy League clothing. I used to see a guy by the name of John Butterfield there. Wonderful guy. They don't make them like that anymore. God rest his soul. He liked to drive convertibles. Good guy. Always had a nice tan. I'm digging around the pockets to see what else I can discover. Huh. Well, okay. I see the mystery here. Now, this was made in Canada, but uh, the fabric was woven in Italy. I can't find a salvage to see which mill. Folks, it could be Vital Conico Barbaris, or I got that backward. Vital Barbaris Conico. Well, my opinion doesn't matter. What do you think? There's the lining. It's two buttons. Nice soft shoulder. Do you like this? Would you like to rent this? Well, thanks for opening up our new inventory. I'm going to give all of these items a fresh steam.